You know, before this chat GPT thing came out and all of this AI stuff, it used to take me an absolute eternity to create content for a website. Nowadays with ChatGPT, I believe anybody can write some badass website content for their home service website and do it themselves. So let me show you guys how I do it for a specific service area page. What up there guys, Izzy here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping home service business owners, local businesses understand this internet thing, building up their own sites, doing SEO, and getting their business found online. In this video, I wanna talk about ChatGBT and just AI in general. I know there's a bunch of other platforms out there. So there's another one called Claude. I've used here and there, it looks just pretty badass too, but ChatGBT is the one that I use. I pay the extra money just to use the premium stuff and how I use it and how I believe anybody i mean anybody who doesn't even know how to write i'm not a i'm not a writer i could i I'm peck at my keyboard here i'm not a writer when i got out of high school i could barely even read all that well my comprehension was horrific i just couldn't write so when i got started with website designs for contractors and home service business owners it was an absolute nightmare for me to create content especially when i started out I was building out rank and rent websites which is great because at least i was doing it on my own websites and not hurting anybody's business online with some shitty content, stuff that I misspells, all kinds of crap like that, improper grammar. Like I said, I was horrific at this stuff. But with ChatGPT, when I first was introduced to it, I was like in disbelief. I couldn't believe something like this even existed. And the more and more I've used it, I've been using it now for several years. And the best way to think about ChatGPT and these writing tools for writing content is to use them as if you hired an employee to write for you. If you give them all of the proper information, these AI things, the proper instructions, exactly what you want, as if it was a human being sitting in a room, tell them exactly what you want, what you want to explain, tell them all about your business, tell them about your services, how you operate, your values, your services. That means everything across the board. The more you explain to this AI stuff, this chat GBT, the better the writer is going to be. It's like getting a really, really good, highly educated college student that's a great writer. And the more you tell that writer, about your business and what you do and your services, the better he's gonna write the content for you. So I wanna share with you guys how I use ChatGPT to create like service location pages for a website. Some of the prompts that I use, how I structure it, how I whip these things out. And sometimes I could build a really, really good location page within like 15 to 25 minutes and get it done upload the pictures to it, make sure they're all, the alt text on the pictures are good. Not only that, the page is 100% SEO optimized for that specific location and that specific service. So let me show you guys how I do it. So right now I'm currently working on another asphalt paving contractor's website out somewhere in Georgia. So I've already done pretty much like 95% of it. The only thing I need is to build his last location page. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use ChatGPT to help me with that. Now with all of this content, I used ChatGPT to help me write all of it. Now, before I started, I explained to ChatGPT everything about this business, how long they've been in business, the services they provide, their work ethic, their beliefs in serving the customer correctly. Uh, I told it to write it in a real simplistic, friendly way. Keep it with a Southern tone if you could. I mean, I went into deep detail. I'll make another video at another time explaining how I start the whole process, but this is just to explain how I build a location page using ChatGPT. So I did all of that. And then I followed my simple template that I use for pretty much every business. Seems to work out just fine. Follows that proper structure. So I use this template to help me in structuring out the website. Of course, I can add, take out little features here and there uh, just to make it look different from other websites, the colors and all that stuff. So now that I have this website created, this entire homepage, this SEO optimized for the main keyword here, Georgia Asphalt Paving, what I want to do is build another page out for Canton because he does several locations. This guy has several listings that we're going to have to build out more, more pages, more structure for each location. But you can see he's got these main six services. I already built all of these. So I'm looking to build this last one for Canton, Georgia. So the first thing I do with ChatGPT, it's I've already gone through this whole process of building every single page. So the ChatGPT already learned a lot about this business as we've worked together. So now what I tell it is, here's the prompt that I tell it. The next location page I'm going to need is for the city of Canton, Georgia. Write me four different variations of an SEO title and meta description for the page with the main keyword being asphalt paving Canton. Also make sure to add concrete into it because he does concrete work. 
So that's how I start every single page, every location page. And I'm gonna show you why I want those four variations. So there you go, it gave me four different variations that I can choose. And each one has the main keyword in the title tag and it's got to have it in the meta description. There you go. So then I go back to the site and add a new page. So right here, we're gonna call it Canton because in Canton, Georgia. And the main keyword to focus on is Asphalt Paving Canton. Let's go ahead and place that in here. And then I'm gonna pick the one that I like to put into the SEO title and the meta description. So I'm gonna go through here and take a look at which ones I like. Let's see here. I like this one because it's got the main keyword in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it on here. And you might need to make some adjustments. It might be too long, it might be too short. That's perfect length right there. Let's do it for this meta description. I like this description as well. Put that in here. There you go, perfect. And then this is the main SEO keyword. So I put that as the slug, Asphalt Paving Canton, Georgia. And then I hit publish. And then bam, I got my page ready to go. So now I hit edit with Elementor. Like I said, I use WordPress and Elementor to build websites, makes it super easy. So the next step, what I do is, so the next step that I follow is I've already built these location pages for all these other cities. So what I end up doing is building out the first one. After I build out the first one, I save this, the very first one as a template so I can use over and over for the location pages. So this is what I'm gonna do with this page. I already have this saved into these template files. So you can see here, location page for this business right here. I insert it, I apply, I just wait a few seconds and then boom, I got my page already, the whole template ready to go. And this is where I start building out this location page. So let's take a look at some of these other titles and meta descriptions because I like to use one of these four for this little header right here and the description for here. This is why I asked for four. It helps with this content here. So there we go. I just changed this right here to Canton Asphalt Paving. So it's in the H1 title tag. So it's Canton Asphalt Paving in the, in right here. I put it into this little second introduction here. Get Asphalt Paving Canton Homeowners, blah, blah, blah. So now the keywords are correct. And then usually what I do is I change the image in the background to another image that they might have. So I just selected another image that they have. And then I title this. So I take this image and I title it Asphalt Paving Canton, Georgia, hit select. So now that's in the background and that's telling Google that this image is about asphalt paving in Canton. And then right here at this line, usually I just keep the same and I just change the city, Canton, Georgia. And then here's the six questions to agitate the customers to, run, to remind them as to why they were online in the first place. So for a lot of times, what I'll end up doing is just rewriting this in a different way. I'll ask ChatGPT to rewrite all of these six questions in a slightly different way so that they're new content, it's different content. And then this line right here, sometimes I just leave it the same and I just change out the town again, Canton, Georgia. And then this line too, sometimes I use another one of these lines from, from some of the title tags and meta descriptions that they that they uh, the ChatGPT gave me. See, see what I mean? I use this over and over. This information is just really markety, sounds really good, all this stuff. So we could just change this real quick. Let me show you. So I just changed this line. It says trusted paving company, property owners rely on, plus expert concrete services, driveways, parking lots, and more, blah, blah, blah. See, all this stuff is already saved. Then I have another image here in the background that I'll change again and title it specific for this location. So let's go ahead and change this image to, let's say this one here. And again, I'll this time I'll put it in reverse, asphalt paving services in Canton, Georgia. So there you go, that image is telling Google what this page is also about. Now for these se next sections, all I do is tell ChatGPT to rewrite them in a different way, but structure them for this location. So here's the prompt I give ChatGPT, help me rewrite these three sections in a different way and for this location page, and I just copy and paste those three spots, I pop it in here, and it's going to rewrite those three sections. Absolutely, here's a fresh take on these three sections, but changed for Canton, Georgia. Putting Canton customers first. So it's writing all this content for me. I just look over and make sure they look good. Doesn't sound too robotic, but I taught it real well to begin with, so it's sounding really natural. Some of these SEO people think that Google doesn't like AI, AI generated content, I understand what they're saying. But if you taught it to be in the first place, you're actually writing this stuff for a human being. I don't see the problem with it. And it's just going to be just fine. You know, it's not like you 
It's not like if you just go in there and say, chat GPT, write me 2,000 words of asphalt paving content. That's going to be some generic shit. You got to be very specific with your work. So let's go ahead and add this to the site. So there we go. That section's done. Adding content to the page is so starting to look good. So now this next part right here, again, I just copy the homepage. This is their homepage. I copy this. And again, I just tell ChatGPT to rewrite it and reword it for this section. Rewrite this section to suit this page. And just do that. And then it's going to come back with content specific for this location page. You see what I mean? It's just like you've done so much work with it. If every building out every single page, it's kind of understanding what you've got going on. It knows exactly what you want. So here we go. Just copy this. It's got, this is the H2 title tag, and it's telling the search engine, again, reflecting and let people know, and the search engine, this is a, a Canton, Georgia asphalt paving company. They do concrete work as well. So I just copy this, copy this, place this in here. Pop this bad boy in here. And then boom, you're good to go. The next part is all the services that he offers. So you go to his homepage, their homepage, you can see they do asphalt driveways, they do parking lots, paving repairs, concrete work, striping, and seal coating. So all I have to do is tell ChatGPT again. I'm going to give you these. Usually I do three sections at a time. So I just copy all of this and I tell ChatGPT can to reward this in a different way to suit this page. Again, just repeating the whole thing. All we're doing is creating many versions of his homepage with all these location pages. So that's exactly what I did. So I said, can you help me rewrite these three sections in a different way to fit this location page? Right, and I hit enter, and it's gonna spit out the content to write for each location. Absolutely, here's a freshly written version of these three sections tailored for Canton, Georgia. Location page line with peach states pavings warm professional tone see it knows what we've been doing this whole time so there we go again i just read through these make sure they look good copy and paste them into the new page okay so all of the little sections were rewritten i copied and pasted out i looked through them, make sure they were okay i read every one of them and then what i do next is change all of the images for example here i just changed this images and then i changed the alt text to parking lot paving in canton georgia let's do like paving repairs Asphalt Paving Repairs, Canton, Georgia, things like that. So every page, every image is now telling Google that it's related to the industry or the service in this location. So that's pretty much it for there. And then to check out the reviews, everything, pretty much the steps from the first page, from the home page, I pretty much keep the same across every local page. See, the whole point of it is just to change things up a little bit. So when Google crawls this page, it doesn't blatantly look like a copy and paste of another location or something like that. This will remain the same. To me, logically, it seems like no matter what, the same four steps are, the, the customer is going to expect is going to be the same for, oops, for every single uh, every single location. That's just what they do, right? And then the email form, I fixed that up to fit this location. So I just go in here and change this right here to Canton. So I try not to complicate it too much. And then I write a final call to action. I always tell it. See, it already knows to look. Let me know when you're ready to wrap it up with a final call to action. It already knows what I, my method and my process. So instead of writing it in, I'll just say, let's do it. Let's do it. So it's going to write me one. And sometimes I alter it. Sometimes it makes them too big, sometimes too short. I'll just ask it, can you shorten it up? Can you make it longer? Things like that. So it's writing up my uh, final call to action here. So I just copy and paste this. I look through it, read it, make sure it makes sense. Looks pretty good. It looks a little long, so I might trim it down a bit. So looking over it, I like it now. And usually what I do is I always create a link that goes right back to their main homepage. So we'll just click this. Goes back to their homepage. So there you go. This link will create that goes back to their homepage. So now that I'm done, I got everything dialed in. I put all the images and things like that. So now I, what I do is go back to Yoast SEO and see if I did a good job. Yoast SEO is going to tell me if I did a good job with the SEO part of it. So I just click on it. And sure enough, there it is. Everything's green lit, readability, all this crap. So Asphalt Paving Canton, this page is search engine optimized for that search. This is what it's going to look like on a mobile. This is what it's going to look like on a desktop. So this is why I like making sure I put in the good image, the featured image, because that's what ends up showing up when people look things, this up on the phone, if Google wants to place it 
that way. So there you go. Now let's take a look at it. Looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add it to this location page. I'm going to add it to the menu just like this. Just go to the menu. There's my new page. Add to the menu. There's Canton. I pop it into here. Save the image. Save the menu. And there you go. One, two, three, four. There it is in Canton. Awesome. That's how you do it. And like I said, it's just a brief overview of how I do it. So there you go. Just kind of give you an idea of how I start to structure out and build out location pages for the websites that I get hired out to build out. And using ChatGPT, you can whip these out pretty, pretty quickly. You know, you can do them within, like I said, 15 to 25 minutes, maybe a little over 30 minutes when you're first starting out because you're learning how to use the whole process. But once you figure it out, you can just start churning out this content, churning out the website, churning out the pages and build a really, really well structured website that's going to rank very, very well on Google and actually push it into that Google three pack. Now, if you guys want to learn how to do all of this stuff, get the, my template, learn how to build your own website, do your own SEO, all of that stuff. My, it, I have links in the description below. You can join my little group. I'll show you guys how to do all of that stuff. You guys don't want to deal with any of that crap. You just need somebody to do this for you. Again, you can go to that description below in my little group. You can book a call with me and see what it would take for me to do some of the stuff for you. So you don't have to deal with it and get your business ranking and get it going on Google and especially in the Google three pack, because the way that I see it these days, it's either the three pack or bust, because I don't believe anybody's even really going down into the top 10 organic listings of the Google's first page of search engines. So I talk about this a little bit more in this video I created the other day. You can check that out right here. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.